In this video we're going to take a look at some of the most common problems that can happen when printing using edible paper and edible inks and how to solve them. A common problem when installing new cartridges is a hardware failure. This is normally indicated by an orange flashing light. So by simply opening the lid of the printer we can sometimes spot that a cartridge hasn't been inserted correctly. Simply locate the cartridge that's not illuminated, remove it and replace it back into the printer you'll notice the flashing orange light. You'll notice that the problem has been resolved by the lack of a flashing light on the front of the printer. If this doesn't resolve the problem, it is also worth trying to remove all the cartridges, then unclipping the carrier by clipping it forward on the right and on the left, and then lifting it out, and then simply replacing it. So we put it back into the slot, Using our forefinger we hold it in place and then we clip it back into place on the left and the right and then simply go about replacing the cartridges. Another common problem is when printing a picture we get a lack of colour or a failure to print a colour. This is normally highlighted by missing colour on the actual image as you can see in this example. We select the properties button which will bring up the properties for a given printer, the maintenance tab and what we will do is we'll begin by doing a nozzle check. We click the button and print check pattern. Now as we'll be able to see in this example, the black is not printing in our printer. We can confirm this by comparing it to the print checkout box that is displayed on the screen. A common cause of this problem is where the circular sponge that contains the colour has become recessed inside the cartridge. By using a needle we can simply pry this little piece of sponge so it's proud or sticking out of the cartridge by about a millimetre or so. Using the needle I work my way around the cartridge until the sponge is now level or slightly protruding the cartridge. Once I'm happy with this I return it to the printer, insert the cartridge and close the lid. We wait for the flashing green light to turn solid. We now simply repeat the process of doing a nozzle check and then we're going to compare the printout with what it shows us on the screen and as you can see the black ink has returned. If this process doesn't work then quite often it's necessary to remove the print head for cleaning. We simply remove the cartridges, take out the conversion carrier and then by lifting up the lever on the left hand side and then using thumb and forefinger we're able to pull forward and lift out the print head. To clean the print head we're going to need a suitable container which we're going to fill with hot water. I've taken the kettle, I've boiled it and I'm now going to pour the contents into a Pyrex container. Once full I'm going to take the print head and I'm going to completely submerse it in the hot water and leave it to soak for about five minutes. Once this is complete I'm going to remove it, rinse it under the tap and repeat this process once more.
At this point you want to take the damp print head and you want to dry it off onto a sturdy cloth. We're now going to go about replacing the print head. Simply lift up the lever, taking it with your thumb and forefinger, drop it into place and drop the lever till it clamps the print head down. Then we're going to simply go about replacing the conversion carrier. Hold it in place, and we clip that down on the left and the right. And then we simply replace all the cartridges one by one in the reverse order. It's worth noting at this point that again I will take a little needle and pry the little sponges with the colour until they're protruding out of the cartridge and again replace those into the printer. I do this for each of the coloured sponges and again what this does is this ensures that when it presses down inside the print head it closes round and makes a good seal thus ensuring that the printer will pull ink and not air which is sometimes a very common problem and this easily eliminates it when putting it all back together. So once I have all four cartridges in I close the lid on the printer once that's done we're going to go back into the print head maintenance and what we're going to do is we're going to do a cleaning and we're going to execute a clean. What this will do is this will make sure that all the ink is pulled back into the print head and it's recharged. One final step will be to print a check pattern and ensure that all the cartridges are in fact printing correctly. We take the printed sheet once it comes out and we're able to compare this with what's seen on the screen and as we can see all the colours are printing correctly. Let's now take a look at a problem that can sometimes occur when printing black and white photos. What you'll notice is that when you print darker areas you can sometimes get little tractor marks that tiptoe their way through the design. If we look more closely we can see these dots. They're not a problem with the print head but rather an issue to do with the little wheels on the printer. If we zoom in on the front of the printer, you'll be able to see that there's a stainless steel bar with little rubber wheels running round the outside. These act as little tractor guides for little wheels that pull the sheet through. Now if we take a piece of card and lightly moisten it, and then run it backwards and forwards through the front of the printer, you'll actually be able to see the little bits of colour coming off onto the cardboard. If we repeat this for all the little wheels, they're spaced about two inches apart, we can actually remove the dark coloured ink. If we, before printing, now take one of our sheets and lightly warm it, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the moisture out of the sheet, which means that when we print it, the sheet will be able to absorb the ink a lot quicker. Let's reprint the same image now, and then if we zoom in and take a closer look at the forehead, we'll be able to see that the tractor marks are now gone. Peeling printed sheets can be a problem. If you place one onto a reptile heated mat, it will dry the sheet out in about 10 minutes. You simply then pick up the sheet and then you'll find that the corners will peel very very easily and you can remove from the backing. Alternatively you can place the wet sheets into a fan assisted electric oven on the lowest setting. It is possible to peel a wet sheet by simply working your way around the corners with a knife carefully peeling the icing using the flat blade pointing down until you've removed all the corners. Once you've done this you'll simply be able to lift the icing off the plastic backing and place it straight onto your cake design. 